Buenos dias. Right now we are in Astoria, Queens. In my opinion, one of the best neighborhoods in the city. My name is Adrián Arellano, and I am the manager for climate initiatives at NextGen America, the nation's largest youthful organization. We are going to our first NYC climate event at the Climate Nest. At NextGen, one of the main things that we focus on is educating youth about the climate movement. Youth really care about climate change, but they're not really sure how to go about it. So what, what, what I do is provide them that link and opportunities to get involved in the climate movement. We're now heading to my event, uh, which is a live stream called Climate and Latinos. I grew up like Southeast LA, it's called Pico Rivera. It's like a 95% Mexican American community. My dad was actually an agricultural worker. So he used to pick strawberries from the fields of Northern California. Latinos make up a significant proportion of outdoor workers. So when it gets hot, that means we can't work that day and it affects our income. As Latinos, we're often living in the frontline communities. When disaster hits, it's always the people at the bottom who get negatively affected the most. And I think one thing that people don't realize is that one of the main winners in the clean energy revolution is going to be the construction industry. So Latinos being a large and significant proportion of the construction industry actually has a lot to gain from these climate investments going forward. Is that is that a good background for you guys? Hello, definitely the brick. I think the brick is like very like fast. Okay. Yeah. Hi everyone and welcome to our Latinos and Climate Change live stream. And as you can see here, we have a wonderful panel of badass Latinos for you today who are all experts from across the youth voting and climate movement space in the US. The event was great. We talked about how climate change affects Latinos and then we also talked about federal investments from the Biden-Harris administration. The Inflation Reduction Act has been one of the largest pieces of climate legislation in history. As of today, it has created 270,000 new jobs with about $350 billion in investments. Project 2025 wants to take away all these things. Right-wing extremists and conservatives are now trying to diminish the power of federal agencies to dismantle federal regulations. We're talking about less stringent regulations for tailpipe emissions, appliance emissions, greenhouse gas emissions, making it a lot easier for fossil fuels to have a lot more power. It makes sense that people are angry about Project 2025. Growing up in California has really influenced my love for nature. This is essentially my childhood that is now being put in jeopardy by people who are not making climate the greatest priority in the country. We've come a really long way in the climate movement. Climate is in the public discussion. I would say that that's a step forward and that it really does give people hope. It's now six o'clock, which is a perfect time for us to go to our next event where we're gonna talk about climate solutions in the future. Thank you guys for joining me for NYC Climate Week. Really appreciate you guys. I hope that you guys learned something about climate today. And the fight really is gonna take everyone to move this country and move this planet forward.